Hi students, welcome to this video session. I remain Samuel Chupu Emeka Azuju. In this video session, we shall continue our discussion on finding the inverse of a matrix. In this video, we shall find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, and this is part one of it. Uh, please, before you view this video, it is highly recommended that you view the videos on a inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix part 1 and inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix part 2. Uh, in those videos we discussed the two methods you can use to find the inverse of a square matrix. Uh, part 1 deals with, in part 1 we used formula method and then in part 2 we used uh, the row reduction method. Uh, also, it is important that you view the videos on uh, determinants. Uh, in fact, if you go to the video uh, playlist, it's a video playlist on matrices and determinants. You view the videos in order. So, uh, for this part one, just like we did for part one and in, uh, inverse of the two by two, two by two matrix. We shall use formula method. Then part two, we shall use row reduction method. So uh, we will, in this part one, we're gonna use the formula method. And uh, in the formula method, we say that um, if we wanna start with question two, B. Uh, some of you might ask me, why am I, where is question one? Question one, we already did that in a uh, determinants part two uh, because the uh, with formula method the uh, inverse the inverse we talked about it the inverse is a adjoint b adjoint b over determinant b adjoint b over determinant b so we we did a lot of uh, of uh, we did a lot of uh, cofactors and minus in a determinants part two. So it is important you view that video because we discussed uh, cofactors and minus at length uh, in that video. So we have done a lot of work. Uh, we did that with question one. So that's why we are in this video. We will start with a uh, question two in that video. Determinants part two. You as we are move on, you understand what I'm saying, yeah, because when we found we we noted the various ways you can find the terminal, we discussed that, and we did a lot of work there on question one. So that's why we are beginning with question two here. Uh, how do we find the adjoint? How do we find the adjoint? We have to first of all we say that the adjoint is the transpose of the matrix of the cofactors. So we discussed all those in that video, the video on determinants, and also the video on the inverse of a two by two matrix. We have discussed all those. Because if we start all over again discussing uh, cofactors and minors, then it will, this will take a lot of time. So please view that video to ensure uh, an understanding of this. So uh, we have our B, uh, is a 3 by 3 matrix 1, 4, negative 1 by row 2, 3, negative 2 uh, negative 1, 2, 3 this was what we used in the uh, in that video this was the determinant we used as number 2 ok so we have to find the let's find the minus first let's find the minus then we find the cofactors so uh, B11 is a. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and find the cofactors. Let's find the cofactors right away. Uh, let's find the cofactors right away. So C11 will be um, 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is plus B11, which is a plus determinant. Bam, bam. That will give us 3, 2, negative 2, 3. Right? Um, um, 
uh, 3, 2, negative 2, 3. So that would be, um, what would it be? This is a 3 times 3 is a 9 minus minus 4, which is 9 plus 4, which is 13. Uh, let's write our matrix of cofactors here. Uh, matrix of cofactors. Matrix of cofactors. Let's say it's C. Assuming we say it's C. Okay? Assuming we have it as C. Right? Matrix of cofactors. Let's have it as C. Assuming it's C. So C will be... Uh, our C11 will be 13 here. Then um, C12 is minus B12, which is minus determinant. Bam, bam, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 3. And this will give us what? Uh, negative. Uh, this is a uh, 2 times 3, 6, minus 2 which is negative 4. 6 minus 2, that is negative 4. This is negative 4. Then C13 will be, this is plus B13, which is plus determinant. Uh, bam, bam. This is a 2, negative 1, 3, 2. 2, negative 1, 3, 2, which will give us 2 times 2 is 4, minus, minus 3, right? Which is 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3, which is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay? Then C, 2, 1, C, C, 2, 1, is minus B21, which is minus the tabinan. Bam, bam. 4, 2, 4, 2, negative 1, 3. And that is uh, minus uh, 12, minus, minus 2. 4 times 3, 12, minus, minus 2, which is uh, minus 12 plus 2, 14. Minus 14. We have, uh, we, that's why it's good to view these videos in order. If you view it in order, you will understand what I'm doing. Yeah, you need to view those videos, the prerequisite. Those are the prerequisite videos. Determinants and then inverse of 2 by 2. You need to view it in order. Uh, then we have a C22. C22 is uh, uh, plus B22 which is plus determinant. Bam, bam. Uh, bam, bam. Uh, that is a one, negative one, negative one, three. So this is a one times three is three minus one, which is two. Two. C two three, C two three is minus B two three, which is minus Determinant, uh, bam, bam, one, negative one, uh, four, two. So that will be minus two, minus, minus uh, four, which will give us minus six, minus six, right? Uh, then we have a, um, and we have to, we, you know, after this, we have to check this. You know how we check it? We mentioned it in the previous video. How will you check whether it's right? We will check it to see whether we are right. Uh, C31 is plus B31, which is plus determinant. Um, um, that is a 4, 3, negative 1, negative 2. And that will give us a negative 8 minus minus 3. Right? Minus 8 
minus minus 3, which is minus 8 plus 3, and that is minus 5. So this is minus 5. Then uh, C32 will give us minus B32, which is minus determinant. Bam, bam. <laughs> bam, bam. Okay, so what will it be? 1, uh, 2, uh, um, um, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. And that will be minus this negative 2, minus, minus 2. Minus 2, minus, minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0, so this is 0. 0. And the C33, C33 will be what? C33 will be plus B33, which is plus determinant. Bam, bam. Uh, this is 1, 2, 4, 3. And that will be 3 minus 8, which is minus 5. Minus 5. So let's see whether this is right anyway. Um, our, uh, let's first of all see whether our determinant is right, then B, then B could be 1 times 13 plus 4 times negative 4 plus negative 1 times 7. So that would be 13 minus 16 minus 7, right? 13 minus 16 minus 7. And that is the minus, uh, 13 minus 16 is minus 3 minus 7, minus 10. Or it could be, I'm checking to see whether I got the cofactors right. That's what I'm checking, to see whether I got the cofactors right. Because if I didn't get it right, then there's a problem. <laughs> if I don't get it right, then I'm not going to get the adjoint right. And if I don't get the adjoint right, I will not get the inverse right. <laughs> so that's what I'm checking. Or 2 times negative 14 plus 3 times 2 plus negative 2 times negative 6. So this is negative 28 plus 6 plus 12. Negative 28 plus 18 is negative 10. Right? This is negative 10. So I think it's right for the two rows. Now let's check for the third row. For the third row, or the B will be uh, negative 1 times negative 5 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times negative 5. Right? So it will be 5 plus 0 minus 15. And that is minus 10. So, so far so good. I checked it with the three rows. And it sounds good. Yeah, the cofactors that I got it right. Okay, now let's go to adjoint, having the adjoint. So adjoint B, um, we have found the, uh, we have found the cofactors, matrix of cofactors. Okay, we say let it be C. So adjoint B, adjoint B, adjoint B will be a C transpose. It's going to be C transpose. And that will give us what? Uh, 13, negative 14, negative 5, and then negative 4, 2, 0, then 7, negative 6, negative 5. Now this is adjoint B, which is the cofactors transpose. That is it. 13, negative 4, 7, negative 14, 2, negative 6. 13, yeah. And then negative 5, 0, negative 5. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is this. Um, we now find the B inverse. B inverse will be adjoint B over the determinant B, that B, which is a 1 over a negative 10. Okay. This is like saying 13, negative. Let me just write this here. B inverse. So B inverse is going to be uh, 
13, negative 4, 7, negative 14, 2, negative 6, negative 5, 0, negative 5. All over negative 10. Since the terminal of B is negative 10, we checked it. So this is gonna be what, folks? What would it be? B inverse will be uh, uh, negative 13 over 10, uh, negative 14 over negative 10, negative 5 over negative 10. Well, you can say 13 over negative 10, but we'll still write it well. We're gonna still write it well, no problem. Uh, negative 4 over negative 10, 2 over negative 10, 0 over negative 10, 7 over negative 10, negative 6 over negative 10, negative 5 over negative 10. So we say that our B inverse will be what now? Our B inverse will be, uh, this is negative 13 over 10, uh, 7 over 5, 2 into Negative divided by negative is positive. 2 into 14 is 7, 2 into 10 is 5. And uh, this is 1 over 2. Uh, this will be 2 over 5. This will be 1 over 5. Negative 1 over 5. Right? The negative should not be in the denominator. The negative has to come up in the numerator. It should not be in the denominator. Then, um, this will be 0, uh, this will be negative 7 over 10, this will be uh, uh, 3 over 5, okay, check it well, 3 over 5, and this will be 1 over 2. So these are the inverse, formula method, finding the inverse of the matrix using the formula method. Please, you know, it is good, you know how to use technology to also do this. Uh, I will allow you to use your TI-84 class to do this. Uh, it's also good you know how to use Excel to do it. So you can uh, uh, view the videos on uh, the technology, using the technology to find the inverse of the matrix. All right. Uh, this is our inverse, but are we sure, are we sure, how do we check, how do we know that we are right? Remember, I encourage you to check, to, to know whether you are right, uh, how do you know that this is the inverse? Uh, in that, in the, in the video on a 2 by 2 matrix, we found out how we could check this. Uh, what did we say we could check it in, uh, in checking, in checking, right? We say uh, in check that uh, A times A inverse is the same as A inverse times A and it's equal to an identity matrix. So you want to uh, check this, uh, B times B inverse, or B inverse times B, whichever way you write it. So let's go ahead and check it. Let's go ahead and check it and see what we will get. If we don't get an identity matrix, we're in trouble. That means we have to do it again. Which, honestly, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I hope that we get it right. Okay, uh, let's do B times B inverse. Now, this is a three by three, one, two, negative one, four, three, two. Negative 1, negative 2, 3. Um, then this will be negative 13 over 10, 2 over 5, negative 7 over 10. Let me write this B, like B there. 1, 2, negative 1, 4, 3, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 3. Uh, negative 13 over 10, 2 over 5, negative 7 over 10, 7 over 5, negative 1 over 5, 3 over 5, 1 over 2, 0, 
1 over 2. And our, this is a 3 by 3, so this is BB inverse, uh, the product. This is 3 by 3. Let us check the conformability for multiplication. Conformability for multiplication. 3 by 3, 3 by 3, so this will be 3 by 3. Because this is equal to this. The number of columns of matrix B is equal to the number of rows of uh, the uh, inverse of matrix B. So B times B inverse will give us 3 by 3. And it should give us I. If it does not give us I, we are in trouble. Now let's go ahead and do this. Um, we kind of need some space, you know. So this will be uh, 1 times negative 13 over 10 plus 4 times 2 over 5 plus negative 1 times negative 7 over 10. Uh, this will be 2 times negative 13 over 10 plus 3 times 2 over 5 plus negative 2 times negative 7 over 10. This will be negative 1 times negative 13 over 10 plus 2 times 2 over 5 plus 3 times negative 7 over 10. So this is the first column. Next one. I mean, this is one way of doing it. You know, you must not, some people would like to do it row, row by row. Right now, I'm doing it column by column. Next one, we have a 1 times 7 over 5 plus 4 times negative 1 over 5 plus negative 1 times 3 over 5. Then we have here 2 times 7 over 5 plus uh, 3 times negative 1 over 5 plus negative 2 times 3 over 5 row by column. Right? Then this is negative 1 times 7 over 5 plus 2 times negative 1 over 5 plus uh, 3 times 3 over 5. Second column. Third column. 1 times 1 over 2 plus 4 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1 over 2. And I close this. Then 2 times 1 over 2 plus 3 times 0 plus negative 2 times 1 over 2. Then negative 1 times 1 over 2 plus 2 times 0 plus 3 times 1 over 2. So what we got now? Uh, this is negative 13 over 10 plus 8 over 5 uh, plus 7 over 10, right? Uh, this is a negative 26 over 10 plus 6 over 5 plus 14 over 10. Uh, this is a 13 over 10 plus 4 over 5 minus 21 over 10, right? Uh, next one, 13 over 10 plus 4 over 5 minus 21 over 10. Next one, 7 over 5 minus 4 over 5 minus 3 over 5. And this is 14 over 5 minus 3 over 5, minus 6 over 5, right? Then this is negative 7 over 5, minus 2 over 5, uh, plus 9 over 5. Negative 7 over 5, minus 2 over 5, plus 9 over 5. Then here, 1 over 2 plus 0 minus 1 over 2. I plus this. 
then uh, this will be um, 2 over 2 plus 0 minus 1. Yeah, minus 2 over 2. If we want to say 2 over 2, that's fine. 2 over 2. Or why don't we just put 1? That's fine. It still cancels out anyway. And this is negative 1 over 2 plus 0 plus 3 over 2. All right, folks, what we got here? Uh, minus 13 plus 7 is what? I'm doing the denominators, the one with the same denominators first. Uh, this is minus 8 over 10 plus 8 over 5. See that? I mean, minus 6 over 10. Minus 13 plus 7 is minus 6. So this is a 8 over 5, 8 over 5 minus 6 over 10, right? Okay, uh, then uh, this is a minus 26 plus 14 is a minus a 6 minus 4 to minus 12. So this is a 6 over 5 uh, minus uh, 12 over 10, right? 6 over 5 minus 12 over 10. Uh, 13 minus 21 is what? 8. 4 over 5 minus 8 over 10. 4 over 5 minus 8 over 10. I would make. Let me see. Okay, here. 7 minus, this is all the same denominator. 7 minus 5. They, are, they have the same denominator. So 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. Okay? Then uh, here, they have the same denominator. 14 minus 3 is 11 minus 6, 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Then here, minus 7 minus 2 is minus 9. Plus 9 is 0. Divided by 5 is 0. Here, half, half minus half is zero. Uh, one minus, one plus zero, one minus one is zero. Negative one plus three is four. Four divided by two. Negative one plus three is not four, I'm sorry. Negative one plus three is two. Two divided by two is one. Okay, let's finish up this and see. Remember, we have to get, uh, we have to get an identity matrix. Otherwise, we are in trouble. So this is equal to, uh, if you convert it to the same denominator, this is a 16 over 10 minus 6 over 10. This is a 12 over 10 minus 12 over 10. And this is a 8 over 10 minus 8 over 10. And this is a 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so folks, what do we what do we uh, what do we have now? What do we have? We now have what? That uh, this is a 16 minus 6 is 10, then divided by 10 is 1. And this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Which is an identity matrix, 3 by 3 identity matrix. So, which shows that our B inverse is right, we are right. B inverse. That is the way you check it. That is the way you check it. Alright? Now, we can write out, our, let's write out this B inverse because we will do the next video right away, part 2. We are going to do part 2. So, let's write out B inverse so that when we get it, with no reduction, we don't have to check it again because we have checked it here and it is correct. We have checked it here, it is correct. So let's write it out so that when, you, when we use row reduction and do it in part two, because I want to face only formula method here, then part two we use row, row, row reduction. So uh, our B inverse. Let's write our B inverse. Let me just write it here. B inverse. And our B inverse, we got 
because we've checked it, it's negative 13 over 10, 2 over 5, negative 7 over 10. Let me kind of write it bigger. Let me write it bigger. Negative 13 over 10, 2 over 5, negative 7 over 10, 7 over 5, negative 1 over 5, 3 over 5, 1 over 2, 0, 1 over 2. Alright, let's do number 3. Uh, we did not include number 4 because if you look at that video, number 4 uh, is a well, number four is a four by four matrix. We are interested in three by three matrix, so we did not include number four from the video on uh, determinants part two. Number three, we see that C inverse is equal to I join C over that C determinant C. I join C over determinant C, and then let's kind of write our matrix of cofactors here. Uh, matrix of cofactors, matrix of cofactors. Can we just call it CC? Let's just call this CC, okay? Let's just call it CC. That's okay. That's fine. Doesn't doesn't matter. Let's find. Let's let's see what it is. Let's just call it CC in this case. So write a matrix of cofactors here. Now. Uh, C, matrix C is 1, 1, 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 5, uh, 17, 7, 29. Okay. Uh, C11, one, one, cofactors, C11. One, one, uh, is equal to plus C11. You know what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're using this. You know what? Let's call this. Let's leave this matrix of cofactors as C. Let's call this C uh, E. Why not, let's just call it E. Let's just call it E. So we won't run into just confusion. E in pass, I join E over that E. Let's just call it E. So this will be just C. So we still, we don't run into uh, uh, naming the, yeah, the same, the same alphabet. So this will be C11 one, one is equal to plus uh, E11, one, one, which is a plus determinant. Bam, bam. That will be negative 1, negative 5, 7, 29. And that will be what? Um, 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 negative 1, negative 5, 7, 29. So this is negative 29. Negative 29 minus minus uh, 35. Right? Uh, which is negative 29 plus 35. And that is uh, 15 minus 9 is 6. Is a negative, it's a 6. So this is 6. Uh, C12 is equal to minus E12 minus determinant. Bam, 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 bam. And 1, 2, 7, 29. Right? So this will be minus uh, 29 minus 14, which is a uh, minus 15. Minus 15 is our C12. C13 is equal to plus E13, which is plus determinant. Uh, um, um, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 5, uh, which is what now, folks? Uh, negative 5 minus minus 2, negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3, negative 3, uh, 
then C, C21 is equal to minus E21, which is minus determinant. Bam, bam. Uh, minus 3, minus 5, 17, 29, which is minus, uh, minus 3 times 9 is 27, 7, carry 2, 3 times 2, 6 plus 2, 8, right? Minus 87, minus, uh, minus 85, because 5 times 17 is there. Uh, is 85. So this is a minus minus 87 plus 85, right? Which is minus uh, uh, minus 2, which is 2. You see, minus minus 2, which is 2. 2. Here. Uh, C C22 two, two is the next one. C22 two two will be plus E22, two two, which is plus determinant. Bam, bam. Uh, 1, 2, 17, 29. And that will be 29 minus 34, which is a negative 5. 14 minus 9 is 5. Right? Negative 5 minus 5. Then C23. C23 is minus E23, which is minus determinant. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, 1, 2, uh, negative 3, negative 5. Right? C23. Um, um, one, one, two, negative three, negative five. That's right. So this is a negative, uh, negative five, uh, minus, minus six, which is minus negative five plus six. Right? Six minus five is what? One. So the answer is negative one. Co factor of two, three is a negative one. And we shall still check this to know whether we are right. We shall still, we shall still check it when we try to find the determinant. Okay, let's finish it up. Let's find the rest. Uh, C24, C31. <laughs> I just say C24, don't mind me. C31 is plus E31, which is plus determinant. Bam, bam. And negative 3, negative 1, 17, 7. So which is a negative 21 minus, minus 17, right? Which is minus 21 plus 17, which is a 11 minus 7 is 4, negative 4. Negative 21 plus 17, which is a negative 4. Negative 4. Then C32 is minus E32, which is minus determinant. Uh, bam, bam. 1, 1. Uh, 17, 7. Right, one one seventeen seven. So this is a minus seven minus seventeen, which is minus minus ten, which is ten. Ten. And then C three three will be plus E three three, which is plus determinant. Bam bam. One one. Uh, negative three negative one. So this will be what? Uh, minus 1, minus, minus 3, which is minus 1, 
plus 3, which is 2. Okay? Minus 1, minus 1, minus, minus 3, which is minus 1 plus 3, which is 2. Minus 1, minus, minus 3, yeah, which is 2. Okay, let's see whether we are right. Let's see whether we are right. That C, that C will be 1 times 6 plus uh, negative 3 times negative 15 plus 17 times negative 3. So this gives us what? 6 plus uh, 45 minus 3 times 7 is uh, 21, 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2 plus 5, 3 plus, 3 times 1, 3 plus 2, 5. Uh, 6 plus 45 is what? 51. 51 minus 51 is 0. This is a, what is this kind of matrix? Matrix in which the determinant is 0. What do we call it? A singular matrix. It's a singular matrix. And the determinant is 0, it won't have an inverse. It's not going to work. Yeah. Matrix D has no inverse. Because the determinant is 0. But let's check whether we are right for this. Let's find this or, or it will be 1 times 2 plus negative 1 times negative 5 plus uh, 7 times negative 1. So that gives us 2 plus 5 minus 7. This is still 0. So we are right in the second one. You know, it's kind of good to check it. So that you know that whether you are right in all of them. And then for the third one, what we got? 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 2 times negative 4 plus uh, negative 5 times 10 plus 29 times 2. Which is negative 8, negative 15 plus uh, 2 times... Negative 8, negative 50. 5 times 10 is 50. My bad. 50 plus 2 times 9 is 18. 1. 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5. So negative 8 plus 58 is still 0. So we're right. Yeah. But because this is the determinant is 0, it is a singular matrix or non invaluable matrix. Yeah, we talked about it in a in, a, well, in the video on the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. So, is a, is a singular matrix or non invaluable matrix? It has no inverse. Matrix D has no inverse. No inverse. And we shall still check because if you divide it by 0, you know, it's undefined. So, it has no inverse. Uh, we are going to, in the part 2, which we shall do now, hang in there. Sit tight. Let me speak like a southerner. Sit tight. Hang in there. We shall do part two, part two and we shall use the row reduction method. Uh, we shall actually use the row reduction method on A. So I'm going to write A number one. So we can use the row reduction method on questions one, two and three and see what it will be. Okay? Uh, honestly, I prefer the row reduction method. And then we can check it with A. We can check our work with A. Since we just checked our work with B. And then of course E will see. If we use the row reduction method, how the E will work. We'll see how it will be. Okay? Alright, thank you so much students for listening to this video session. On you have a good evening.